Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to Fort William. We're undefeated. <laughs> How quickly things change. There's a few too many draws, but actually these two results were both superb. We've come back for the Berwick game in the Scottish Cup. Not only is it important, for fans, for reputation, for money, but also it's our 500 or my 500th game in charge of Fort William. So I thought we'd come back. So um, we beat Breek in 2 0. Remember, they're the shitty team at the bottom of the league. And we scored early. Scott Allardyce from the half, from the DM position, bang one in. I thought we're going to absolutely 6 0 him here. And then Shanks got himself off straight red. It was one of those guys threw on goal, right? You're the goalie, right? I'm through on goal. Shanks comes in and clears the ball, like coofs the ball a mile away, and it's a straight red card. I'm like, he couldn't have got more of the ball if he tried. Um, I don't know if he like what else he did to get sent off. Maybe he poked him in the eye or something, because it was it was a great tackle. Uh, so he got sent off, and then we were comfortable. I went defensive, and we were just comfortable. They didn't have much of a chance. Then they had a man sent off, and then Ian Brown popped up with an 86-minute winner. Then we drew 0-0 with Morton. Top of the league, St. Johnston. Really solid performance. They did get a late winner, which is annoying, but we were hanging on a bit. Harvey Sterling got what I thought would be a late winner. They got a late equaliser. But overall, against top of the league, delighted. Then we played Falkirk, who are second in the league. And we got another two-all draw. Almost identical. We got what we thought was a late winner. I went defensive, but they were just piling on the pressure. And O'Neill got a 90th minute winner. And that was after Donald got sent off for a two-footed lunge from behind that was in the middle of the park for no real reason whatsoever. So I fined him two weeks' wages. I'm not taking any of that shit. I'm probably not going to make any transfers. Um, in the summer. I don't remember if I told you about this guy. We signed, already signed, Jack Bauer. Uh, I did rename him his name, something else, Bauer. Um, Daniel, but now it's Jack Bauer. <clears throat> As a new centre-back option, he can also play that half-back role. And he's a really, really solid player. Um, some really good physicals and stuff. Not the quickest, but he's solid at everything else. Um, and we needed, you know, Barney's maybe passed it. I'm sorry, Barney. Um, but also we've just signed. So I was, I was kind of done with transfers. I was like, I don't want to cut the reasons. We're doing okay. We're doing great this, at this point of the season, but also didn't want to rock the boat. And I'm thinking, if, you know, a year of survival in the championship is going to boost our reputation. And hopefully next in the summer, we will be able to sign better players. So a lot of those players that we might be able to get now, we might be able to replace in the summer. I thought I'd have a look on the cheeky little look on the loan market, see if there was any um, players that came up. And this player came up. Michael Pollock. It's a good name. It's a good name. Um, as you can see, by his ability, he's quite good. 20 years old. And not to be rude to the rest of my team, but he's the proper footballer I think we've had. <laughs> Fort William. Like, this guy's an absolute beast. On loan from Dundee United. Um, we're paying 400 quid a week plus one grand a month because we couldn't offer him as much wages as they wanted. So it's quite expensive, but I thought, this guy's going to get goals. Like, this guy is decent. If we compare him with um, Greg's, as you can see, just better at everything. Greg's is a little bit better in the air, or quite a bit better in the air, but everything else this guy is better at. And I feel sorry for Greg, so he's not going to get dropped completely. He's banging in goals. But I couldn't not get this guy. And we're going to throw him straight into the team for this Berwick game. Berwick are... At least, did I think, see they're struggling? They're six in League Two. Um, <clears throat> are they look battling for anything? They've got a bit of a gap there. So, fucking goalkeeper rules. Screw your goalkeeper rules. Ridiculous, stupid rule. Sorry, Barney. Uh, Gary Gardens on the bench. Um, Patterson's improved a little bit after we had a word with him and said, look, sort your shit out. Number 11. It's a classic striker. Here we go. Pollock. What you got for us, Pollocks? We can make loads of jokes as well. So it's like that was sort of 60% of the reason why I signed him, to be honest. But I'm hoping, you know, this is the fourth round. There's a good chance we pull out a Celtic or a Rangers. I did ask the board to go professional again. 
Um, I didn't think they would accept, but I just want to see what they say. And um, they were like, whilst we do agree, which is the first time they've actually agreed with me that we should go professional. They said, financially, we can't. It's a bit too risky. So that's really good sign because we just need, you know, get a million in the bank and ask again, hopefully at the end of the season. And we might have a little chance. Right, yellow card. That's the first thing Pollock has done for us. Let's get him off. We're not only just want to ease him into the squad. We've got Greg. So he's taken a knock recently, but he's back now. Um, encourage the team. Okay, good, good decision. Right. <clears throat> uh, Forster Kasky's back on because Sterling was knackered, but let's, let's, he's still not good. We should probably just play him as a DM. Not a DM, a uh, playmaker. But we've got two really good playmakers, so I can't. So we'll just pretend we never signed him. Go on, go on, go on. Get there. McCann! Ah, it looked like it hit an invisible post. Check for a glass panel. Ref, check Check. there's not a big glass panel in front of that goal. That looked like it bounced off invisibleness. That's a thing. <clears throat> right, come on, boys. Oh, boobs. They're cheating. They're playing in our colours. Go on, Shanks. Go on, Shanks. That's it. Don't panic. Around the corner. Greg's is chasing. Booga, 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 booga. Ah, go on, spook him. Ooh. Ooh, fancy Berwick. Look, check you out playing from the back. Patterson into Allardyce. Into McCann. What? Plays one around the corner. Shanks, always the outlet ball. Can he find a... Holy fuck. He did mean it. He says he didn't mean that. I... I disagree I disagree I think Shanks meant that because look at my players right from when he shoots right he's about to there it would have to be the one of the worst footballers in the world he would have to be like Nicholas Bentner wouldn't he to score the top corner then we're miles away from the ball he meant that look at that oh and he curls it back yeah he's not even whipping it that way he's curling it out Top bins for Shanks. I'm giving him full credit for that goal. You're a superstar. It obviously won't win goal of the season. Oh, that's nice though, boys. That's nice. <clears throat> right. Um, let's just rest you a little bit. Passing. Mm. Mm, struggling with that left back very much. I've got three of them. One of them's got a broken leg, admittedly. The other's shit, and this one's old and shit, so it's, it's tough picking. <laughs> Go on, Shanks. Donald, back to Shanks. Of course, is it in? It's decent effort. Can we win this? Nice. Allardyce. McLaren. Play it wide, play it wide. Shanks is there. Shanks is there. There we go. Shanks is becoming really... Oh, across the line, surely that bloody glass panel again. Shanks is becoming really important to the way we play. Right, Patterson. We get bad ratings because of all these shit long throw-ins. What I've noticed is that whilst the long throws don't seem to be working that well, it does cause a bit of mayhem. Ref! Oh, he's just got injured. I've just fucking... Look at that. Amazing. He's dead. 56%. Whilst the long throws themselves don't seem to be that great, we win a lot of second balls and stuff. So I'm going to you know, keep it for the time being. There we go, boys. We've got to have a cup draw, haven't we? Solid win. Always difficult in the cup. Never take things for granted, even against those smaller teams. <laughs> those smaller teams. We don't, we've not got, often got to say that. Give me Celtic. Bring me Celtic. They've been hiding from us for too long. I'm surprised they even went through knowing that we were going to win. I'll take the 13 grand, boys. Every little helps. Give me Celtic. Bring me them. Bring me. Right. Okay. Here we go, boys. Here we go. I know I'm all... Hang on. Here we go. I always forget this bit. Right. Bring me them. 
Bring me them. There's, we've got decent odds. Rangers, are Rangers there? Yeah, we'll take Rangers again. Give them a spanking. Um, what's LP? Premier League. Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew that. Ross County. Sorry. Um, no. No. Oh, you bastards. Oh, League One team drawing Celtic. I was at home. It's not as good. Bring me. I want a rematch. They would not want to draw us. Come on. Come on. Bastard Morton. Bastards. Okay, four far. Motherwell. Home draw. Okay. Don't want to draw Dundee because they're too good. And Hearts. Hearts will be a fun one, but we're at home. We're not going to get that big a crowd, so I'd rather play somebody we can beat. Please. Okay, it's Dundee. All right. Look at the wages. Look at the values. It's not ideal, lads. We'll make a little bit of money. We might make 50 grand or something, but we're probably also going to get knocked out. Mind you, we, we did Rangers over a bit, so there's a chance. When's that game? Oh, it's not too far away. Exciting. Right, on to the game against Livingston. Okay, couple of suspensions. McCart is suspended. Uh, Jack Bowers back from being cup tied. Uh, Donald suspended. Callum Black comes in at McGinnett. We promised McLaren a bit more game time. So, what's on really decent form. But uh, McLaren is a solid player we want to keep around. So, we've got to keep him happy, haven't we? Got a panda, you know. Uh, do we play Pollock? Much like the situation with a young Celtic striker, Ian Brown, I'm trying to win him over. We've mission accomplished with Ian Brown, right? I am in his favoured personnel. So if there's any chance of signing him, all right, we'll have him. I want to do the same with this, but I think he might be a bit too... He probably might just get a bit more game time. Like, he might actually get a few games. Um. <laughs> Does he love any... Oh, okay. We're going to have to... He's unflappable. Um, Wick Academy. Nice. Came through the proper youth ranks, the proper leagues. Yeah, we're going to give him a go. We'll give him another half. We need to see something from him. It might take him a few games to get used to the other players and the system and dynamics and all that shitty. All that stuff. All right. But we know Greg's is good for a goal. It's a tricky game today. We're playing Livingston, who are third. So this is n by no means a gimme. <clears throat> Let's get the old Ligoth table up. Right, Moffat. Allardyce, the halfback. Jack Bauer. Nice white boots. Plays it forward to Pollock. Heads it on. To Seth McFarlane. That's about all he could do with that header, to be fair. Jack Bauer wins another one. Black. Into Morrison's. McLaren. That's oh, a good ball. Patterson. Oh, Patterson. It's offside. Bless he Can't do anything, this guy. Finally, we see a performance. A lovely volley. <laughs> it's offside. It's harsh, man. That's harsh. Let's see. Rush the goalkeeper. Black. Good header. Morrison drifts past his man. Finds a nip. Oh, that's... Isn't that just a really good tackle? Pollock's taking it. He wants it. I like it. He's stepping up. He's not afraid. Go on. He's a lefty. Oh, there it is. He's off the mark. Justification for picking him over Greg's. Nice. Nice boy. I, I didn't think that was a penalty. It looked like he got the ball clean, to be honest. All right, Kasky, come on. Last chance saloon again. Oh, Jack Powell's had it blocked on the line. He's played it out again. That's a good block. Allardyce is going to get there. Is this? I feel like that was the end of the height. Yes. Yeah. It's like I play the game, isn't it? Right, throw in Patterson. McMahon, just don't do anything stupid, though, boys. Plays it up the line. It's not the best ball, but McLaren does well to win it. Plays it out to Morrison. <clears throat> oh, it's a lovely ball. What a finish. That was threaded, inch-perfect pass from Morrison. And Pollock gets his second. I'm telling you guys, this guy's... I know it's horrible because Greg... I feel bad because Greg's is on really good form. And he's having a good season considering we're in the championship. But when that guy was like available for loan, I'm like, I've just got to try and get him. 
he improves us. It's fair to say. All right. Let's go, boys. Good performance. He's on a hat trick, lads. <clears throat> All right. Not great. Not great. We've got enough defenders back. Good defensive work from Patterson. Like to see it, mate. For Skakaski. Anything. Something. I'll take a five yard simple ball. Pollock. Good first touch. Holds it up well. Kasky again. Good ball. Black. Callum Black has gone forward. And the ball winning midfielder. It's 3 0, boys. It's 3 0. Not expected. Not expected. My word, lads. What a weird blip at the in that mid part of the season, wasn't it? Because now we look like the team we did at the start of the season. We're playing Livingston. We've gone above him in the league. I'll give you some passion, lads. I'll give you a fucking hand job for that first half. Got to be honest. All right. Kasky's coming off. He played a 7.1, but I think that was just from virtue of just being on the pitch when we're 3-0 up. Everybody gets a boost. Jack Bowers looks solid. He's, he's now captain. All right. He's like, I'm Jack fucking Bauer, son. All right, we're looking for number four, Black. Got the man there. There's Shanks. It's a good ball. Pollock's, oh, he's not great in the air. That's anything about Pollock. Sterling. It's, oh, he's make it, made him run, but Patterson's done well to get there. He's gone to the near post. Any sort of pass from that angle is not bad. And the counter-attack is on, Adams. Adams, he's all on his own. It's a tight angle. Moffat does well. We've kept it out and stopped the corner. Take it. Away! Away! Let's just go chill out, boys. Chill out a little bit. Let's just slow the game down a little bit. Don't need to score anymore. I'm not greedy. Come on, Pollock. Nice hat trick, though. It'll be decent. I feel like Pollock might start getting games, though. That's the only thing. Our chance of actually signing him. Oh, also, Lee Murray is leaving us at the end of the season. Um, his contract runs out at the end of the season, and somebody came in for him. And I don't think he's that good enough to... He's, he's a decent youngster. He's a young Welsh lad, but he's not good enough to chuck a new contract at him. He'll let him go. <laughs> this amazing thing. Oh, he's been he's had an interesting game, hasn't he, old Patty? <sighs> All right. Even the bloody referee's time wasting. Cheers, ref. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Oh, I feel like he's been unlucky today, to be honest. All right, we've got. You, you can go there and Mc you can go over there. Yeah, so I searched for players as I was doing some scouting and stuff. And I put, you know, players that are interested in coming to us. And the highest valued player that was interested in coming to us was a player for Huddersfield who's valued at 1.1 million pounds. And he's on six grand a week. Needless to say, I didn't put in a bid, got to be honest. I uh, thought I might just <laughs> leave it. But that's, it shows. Our reputation, it, he was doubtful, to be fair to him. But it shows that we can. the players will come to us now. That is not the problem anymore. The problem is, well, everything else. Everything else is the problem. No money, um, very small stadium, all that sort of good stuff. It's a good finish. But we should be all right. We're not going to concede two in two minutes, are we? Please don't concede two in two minutes. That's it. Just lump it. <clears throat> now, this could be a proper highlight because there's probably a bit more time added on. That's a great run. That's it, boys. What a performance. What a performance. Come on. Wow. Who'd have thought this at the start of the season? Battling for a playoff. That'll do. Just lump it, mate. Lump it forward. Oh, that's a good win. Offside. There it is. Annoyed that he got sent off, but <laughs> I wonder if he'll get terrible. I didn't see his rating beforehand. He got an offside goal. 
He did an amazing cross from a really bad pass. He was very involved. Then he got himself two yellows. Just ref. Jesus. Got somewhere to be, mate, yeah? Right. Well done, mate. What did you get? 8.4. No, I'm looking at one player. <laughs> I was going to say. 6.7. That's actually right for him. Considering that is included in a sending off. I'll take that. That's, that's better. Real Madrid collapsed. <clears throat> Right, boys, have a look at the league table and just revel in the glory that is the league table. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're 10. You know, winning the league might be a bit of a push. But playoffs, we're seven points clear of fifth. That's what we need to look at now. We're not going to get relic. Well, there's 11 points. So it's still a possibility. 9, 8, 27, 36 games. 11 games left. I think it's safe to say, I think we're in a battle for playoffs now. I think it's... We're on. We're on. It's on like Donkey Kong. Um, I'll give you a warning, mate. That was... He sent it his goal drought. Um, 12 matches. He's barely played, though. 12 matches spanning five years. <laughs> I think we can't really count that as a goal drought, to be fair. I think that's harsh. Right, there we go, my friends. Let me know what you think of this guy. We need to win him over. So say nice things about him in the comments, all right? Because he could be leading our team for a number of years if we can nip him. He's only 20. He's got an under-21 international. It's all good. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back, obviously, for the cup game against old Dundee. It's going to be a goodie. Join me then. Bye-bye.